guys i'm doing a quick review on all the applications i believe you should have on your android smartphone to make your run as best as possible and it'll really help you, you know get the best out of your phone no matter what phone it is you know you got something else or you got something like an lg motion like i do like this got the nice case on it and you guys want to know where i got this case it's uh basically on my page just go to my page it's called um Ryko hybrid case you know look it up this is just the rubber it comes with this black part but you know i just you know you can use it like this too anyway back to the video um all right let's get started the first video uh excuse me the first app i suggest you guys download is called four shared right there and basically what it does is um you can go and download um it's basically like limewire but for phones you can download music ringtones pictures applications games like let's say there's a you know like a app that costs like two dollars on the market you want it for free just go to four shared all right Try not to do it too much because if you do it a lot, you know, they will find you. Still a good app to have just in case you want. There's a couple apps that are really, you know, you really want you can't get to. Next one is called AndroVid. Basically lets you edit videos, you know, trim, uh, cut, split, cut out certain parts of the video. Like, you know, there's like two seconds where in the middle of a video that you want to delete, delete that. You want to cut the video in half, go ahead. You want to add a music to the background, you can do that. You can add graphics, you know, everything. Real nice and handy. AndroVid. I think the pro version has a lot more, but you know, you just go to four shared. Next one is called App Cache Cleaner, and basically, uh, basically, uh, it deletes all this useless information that's called cache from all your apps. Okay, all your apps use this. It's called cache, and it's basically, you know, useless information that slows down your phone, takes up memory, and yeah, basically, you just clear it all. I don't have any because I just did it, and that'll make your phone run faster and smoother. All right, remember that. Uh, app lock basically you can lap uh, excuse me you can lock any application or all your applications that you want um so pe look, you got nosy friends you know they uh, go through your stuff a lot you can lock certain apps like for example if you want if you want all your apps unlocked that's fine and you can just lock um let's say your gallery your contacts and your messages and that's it everything else your friends can use but just those you gotta have a password a pin uh you know a type password or a uh, drawn pattern and that's really good because one thing is that you can just um once it's running you can just slide down the notification bar and tap it and it says um you know it just says uh click to start and as soon as it starts it starts and you know it automatically locks every all the apps that you have chosen and if you just want to unlock it you just slide it back down and tap it and it's just type in the password and that's it it unlocks simple as that next one is called aptoid is is basically right here aptoid is basically a google play market or an android market but everything's free everything's free and where to get the app toy you just go online google just type in apptoid.com just that go to their website and download their application which is this and basically you go there and it's basically a market but every last thing is free everything you look for is free you can even download you know apps that aren't even for your phone like for apple you can do that but i don't i'm not sure how they're gonna run because i haven't done that i mean i don't like apple <laughs> So yeah, but that's a good app to come in candy. Next one is called the uh, barcode scanner. You can just scan anything. Uh, like for example, you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to run this, but for example, I'm gonna scan. Uh, what is this? My monster. Just take the scanner and scan that. Soon. There you go. You just uh, web search. Let me flip that over and look at that. Energy drink, blah, blah, blah. Monster Java Energy, 15 ounce. Uh, yeah, that's what I just scanned, see? Java Monster. And yeah. Basically, that's the barcode scanner. Real nice and handy. Let's you look for anything. Like you see some shoes you like, and you don't know what they're called. You just scan the box, and there you go. You, you got it. Next one is called um, Everything Home. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is. Everything Home. Basically, it makes your phone run as if it was its own, like Siri, kind of. But, you know, instead of voice, you can actually customize it the way you want. For example, I have this. For my music, I have that. These are my apps that I have downloaded. And, you know, it comes with all these apps. But, no, they're not downloaded to your phone. They're actually just wirelessly. For example, games. These are just my games I got. But, you know, these are all their games that, you know, I recommended. Uh, local. You know, look at that. It looks real nice. For example, you want to, let's say, Mario Kart. And 
and there you go. I just said Mario Kart, and it gives you everything about Mario Kart. Like, for example, you go to YouTube. Simple. It, uh, look at that. Everything about Mario Kart. Mario Kart 7. All that stuff. You go out. You go to GameSpot. And it's basically like GameStop. And look at that. It gives you everything about Mario Kart. You go to Best Buy, Wikipedia. It's everything about Mario Kart. Simple as that. So if you type something in, like, um, let's see. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Look at that. Gives you everything. You go to YouTube. Gives you everything automatically about Lil Wayne. Look at that. Simple. You go to Wikipedia. Gives you all this information and everything. You know, everything you just said about Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne right there. Mr. Carter the third. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically what um, everything home does. Makes your, makes your phone run a lot smoother and quicker. Look at that. Very nice and quick, snappy, and it organizes everything, which is really nice. All right, the next one's called the Flash Player. Basically, you just go to um, ForShared or AppToy, and you download Flash Player 10 or higher, and it basically lets your phone, you know, enable Flash on the browser, which most phones can't do nowadays. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and basically, you just, like, there's a video on the website you want to watch. Uh, like, for me, I like to watch The Walking Dead. You go there to a website and it says you need Flash. You know, most phones, you, with this, you can just watch it. Sure, the page will chop a lot more when you're scrolling and it'll be, it'll be a bit laggy. But, you know, once you start playing it and make it full screen, it works just fine. So, that's a good thing to have. Flashlight, flashlight. I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. It just um, makes your um, camera flash to a flashlight. And, no, that's not my case. That's my mom's, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> I don't like pink. And yeah, it basically turns your um, flash into an actual flashlight. You can set it to make SOS signals, you know, everything, cop lights and that crap. Flipboard. Flipboard is really nice. I don't think most people are going to use this, but I do because I like to stay in touch with society. Basically, it um, gives you information about cover stories, technology, news, and you can set it to have your Facebook notifications and your Twitter. And of course, you can just add more. For example, you go to technology, it gives you... Oh, now they make it. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, what the hell is this? Don't tell me they messed up the Wii U. Uh, oh, so it's making games. All right, that's a good. Yeah, basically, it tells you everything, all the information. You can be uh, news, you know, technology, all that crap you want. Oh, long press that. Oh, sorry. It was already in the news. All right, look at that. Record-breaking jump. Don't want trackers. Takes mega drop. Magazines might be like... Wow. Yeah. Hmm. See? This is uh, the Flipboard. Really guys, nice and handy to keep, you know, keep up with stuff. Fox 5 basically lets you... You can download Foxfy at the normal market, but to get you uh, the full features, you gotta have Foxfy key. And to get that, you just go to ForShared or Aptoid. That's why those two are so valuable. They let you get everything else. And basically lets you, like if you have good service, like I don't have good service on my phone, that's why I got Wi-Fi, but like if you're somewhere else, and you have good service, good 4G, and you wanna share it, it's basically like a hotspot for free. You know, I'm pretty sure you're gonna know what hotspot is. You can share your Wi-Fi to make, you know, something else that's not activated like a tablet work. And yeah, it's basically a hotspot, but it's for free. They don't charge you. But yeah, there you go. Fox Fly Key. Next one is <clears throat> Lookout. Oh my god, Lookout. This is like really amazing. It basically secures your phone. It uh, backups your contacts, your calls, your messages, even your pictures to your SD or to your Gmail. And one thing is, um, once it's activated, let's say... Uh, you know, you drop your phone, the stuff already backs up, so it's already saved to your Gmail. Uh, let's say somebody steals my phone. Okay, let them steal it. I mean, uh, once they steal it, it can tell me when. It can tell me the exact location of where it is. It'll send that location to my Gmail. It'll send the time, too. And if, they keep, if you have a password, um, and every time you try to unlock the password, every time, they, uh, I think it's three times. Once they max out three times, the phone records um the location the time and sends it to your gmail plus if it has a front facing camera like mine right there it takes pictures with the front camera without the person knowing so once you go check your little gmail it's going to show you the location where they are it's going to show you who the hell they are what they're doing where the hell they are 
and what they what the freak they look like. So yeah, you know, they, it could be your best friend for all you know. They jack your phone. It's, you can see the their face in front of the phone. They can see, and yeah, that's what lookout is. Works real nice. So now, whenever someone steals my phone, not a good day for them. Next one is called media converter. Basically, lets you convert. You know, media like you, you got a video, like a song, like you got a you got a music video. You just want the music. You just use this and it basically lets you convert that into sound so save as an mp3 so that's good uh, all right next one is called um mx player basically another extra player it's only like one megabyte of memory so it's not even a lot compared to most apps and it lets you um sometimes it doesn't let you like you go online or you want to watch some certain videos they won't let you like it says browser style whatever with this it'll actually help you where it says Sometimes it'll say uh, video is not supported, but with MX Player, that's the second one you need to play video. So that's always good to have. Next one is called, um, let me see. Oh, Slider Widget. Slider Widget is very helpful. Basically, it's a widget, you know, right there. You can customize it. Yeah, I already have it set right here. Basically, it's a little widget. You can make it like this, or you can make them by twos. And basically, it lets you control every last thing on your phone. Your brightness. Uh, I think this is your ringtone. Yeah, ringtone, uh, media, notification sounds, alarm sounds, and system sounds. Like, let's say I want my notifications to be as loud as possible. You just go like that. I want my ringtone just to be a little bit. Notification is going to be so loud. My alarm is going to be, you know, not that loud. And, yeah, basically, you can even customize a little color or make this transparent or whatever. So, that's always good to have. It'll really help you out. And finally, the next one is called Swift Key. Swift Key, it's uh, like three dollars on the market, but of course, you just go to the what was it called? Right here, the Four Shared or the App Toy, and you can get it for free. And basically, it just lets you type amazingly fast. I mean, for example, let me go to my uh, messaging. Let's uh, try my messaging. Let's add one. Let me see. Can't even see right. Okay. No, okay, that's the right one. Okay. Basically, you just type. For example, uh, let me see if I can do it with my right hand. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna say, "Hey, what's up, man?" All right. Look at that. I'm pretty sure you guys saw those typo errors, but it's and oh yeah, you type a word and you scroll it to the left. It deletes the word. So you say, "Hey." Look at that. I didn't even spell "hey" right. I believe. I need to spell hey right. Let me turn the brightness down so you guys can see that better. Hey. See look at that. Look what I'm look what I'm typing in and look what it says. And just um what's up with mm. Look at that. I type YP and it's already right there. You. Look at that. It's really, really fast, and it adapts to you, so, you know, you'll type amazingly fast. I mean, you can type half of the, half of the words in typo errors, and this will automatically correct them. So, that's really nice. So, if key, remember and go get it. Real nice. Next one is called, um, the thing about I hate this, um, launcher, the everything home is that it always takes you back to the beginning from the apps. That's something I don't like. But, you know, it's just my preference. Uh, the next one is called um, Tube Mate, and basically just lets you download videos from YouTube. You know, real nice. And yeah, next one. Oh no, excuse me. You uh, YouTube downloader. Yeah, that's the one. And I hate this thing. It's always popping up on my. I'm pretty sure most of your phones have that. No, I don't want to download that BS. Get me out of there. I don't need that. Oh, look at that. I have so many applications running, and my phone is still fast as heck. And the phone I'm using is LG Motion, and the phone I'm using to record is LG Spirit 4G. So let me know how the guys let me know how the quality is. Excuse me, but yeah, those are the apps I suggest you guys should have. They really help out your phone, as you can see. They make my phone work amazingly fast and speedy, real nice. Hope you guys like the vid. Hope you guys try out those apps. And thanks for watching. And peace.